Thomas the Train, One Railway, The Rescue Mission. Mike, Thomas, Percy, Henry, James, Gordon, and Sir Topham Hatt all came to the Boomsdale Railway to hopefully rescue Fergus. The engines found the right scrapyard. Mike, cheered Fergus. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. And I'm glad to see the rest of you, too. Thank you so much for coming to my rescue. Oh, it's terrible here. Can you please take all of us with you? This place is terrible. Oh, uh, well, Fergus, uh, <clears throat> Sir Topham Hatt said, clearing his throat. Uh, well, I didn't expect taking other engines back. But, uh, yeah, I guess Sodor could always use some more helping hands around. Yes, everyone can come back with us. Oh, thank you so much, sir, said Victor. Oh, we promise to be very useful engines as long as we can get out of this scrapyard. Oh, thank you so much. Um, uh, I don't think Fergus is the only one here that's from your railway, sir. Uh, two other the engines over there I think are from Sodor as well. Psst! came a voice from a siding. Sir Topham Hatt, it's me, Daisy, and Duncan's behind me. We were taken by members of the D of the Diesel Alliance. Please help us get out here. Yeah, said Duncan, I miss my old shed. We'll get all of you out right now, persisted Thomas. You're all welcome to come to Sodor. The engines were then all ready to go out of the scrapyard. Gordon then went to the siding to couple up to Daisy and Duncan. Aha, uh -huh, said Dart from the siding. I see that you have two of my engines, and they do not belong to you. You get back here. Gordon then raced out of there with the two trains, while Dart quickly darted after them. Dart then finally caught up to Gordon and coupled right up to Duncan. Gordon then heaved as Dart fell off the track and Duncan flew in front of them. Duncan landed right on the back of Henry and Duke. Aw oh, yeah? Well, you engines will pay for this, complained Dart. Sir Topham Hatt headed back to his office when they came back to Sodor. Oh, I'm glad we rescued those engines from the scrapyards. That's terrible. No engine should be suffered through that pain, he said. I'm glad they're now at the works. Wait a second. What's that noise? I hear almost like a bus roaring. Wait a second. Oh no, it can't be. Well, 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 said Bulgy. If it isn't my old boss, Sir Topham Hat. Ugh, boy. Well, anyways, you're coming with me, said Bulgy. Figuring he had no choice, Sir Topham Hat hopped aboard Bulgy, and Bulgy drove away. Bulgy then arrived at the sheds. Sir Topham Hat stepped out of Bulgy, and there was the whole diesel alliance holding some of Sir Topham Hat's favorite engines, all led by P.T. Boomer. Well, 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 started P.T. Boomer. Look who it is. Finally, I get to see him. Sir Topham Hat. It's been a while, hasn't it been? Well, everyone, I think we can start now. All the engines and Sir Topham Hatt knew that this was going to be trouble.